Hi guys, it's Tana here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a really short and strong yoga practice where we'll move fluidly through each pose, creating a bit of heat in the body, leaving you energized and feeling all stretched out. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And when you're ready, we will begin in child's pose. Relax your face and completely relax your upper body making sure that you're not holding on to tension in the shoulders, the neck and the jaw. Start to deepen your breath, breathing into your abdomen, just becoming aware of how the body feels. And then on your next inhale, look forward and slowly roll the spine up until you're sitting on your heels. Curl the toes under so that you're stretching the neck of the toe and place your hands on your thighs, finding a nice long spine. This might be a little bit uncomfortable at first. Just try to stay with it. Observing the sensation without judgment, without judgment of yourself or the practice. Come onto all fours in table pose, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, lift the chest and cow. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lift the chest, lower the belly to the floor. Exhale, round the spine, tucking the chin, drawing the shoulder blades apart. Inhale, lifting the chest. Moving with the breath. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lift the chest, broaden your collarbones, exhale, round the spine, and then come back to a neutral spine and extend the left leg out in front of you and the right arm, opposite arm to leg, and then exhale, draw the knee to the elbow as you tuck the chin, inhale, find length, exhale, draw it in, with control, inhale, find length, exhale, draw it in. Inhale, find length, hold, and then start to bend your left leg and wrap your right hand around the left ankle in full tiger, really trying to kick into your hand and using that force to elevate your leg a little bit more. Keep drawing the navel in and keeping the core engaged. Press away from the floor with the left hand. Find your breath. Exhale with control, slowly release. Come back to table and then over to the other side. Right leg, left arm. Find length through the back line of the body first and then exhale, draw the knee to the elbow. Inhale, find length. Exhale, draw it in. Draw the navel in. Inhale, find length. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Inhale, find length. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, find length, hold. Really reaching that left arm out in front of you. Start to bend your right leg, coming into full tiger on the other side. Wrapping your hand around the right ankle, kicking into the hand. Find your breath. Stay with it. Exhale slowly without slingshotting the leg, lower both hands and feet to the floor. Step it back to plank pose, press away from the floor with your hands, exhale downward facing dog. Reconnect to your breath, draw the heels down as close to the earth as possible as you lift the sit bones up, inhale left leg goes up three legged dog, exhale draw the knee to the left elbow with control. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, opposite elbow. Pressing away from the floor with the hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. 
exhale, step it through to a low lunge, stepping in between the hands. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower the right knee to the floor and come into half splits. Drawing your buttocks closer towards the right heel as you try to straighten out the left leg. Working into that hamstring. Inhale, look forward, come back to a low lunge. Exhale, step it back to plank pose. Chaturanga, bending the elbows to the outer ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog, peeling the heart open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the sit bones up to the sky. Connect to your breath. Finding that nice long torso. Inhale, right leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee to the right elbow. Dome through the shoulders. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, opposite elbow. Find that power through your hands, find the stability. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Inhale, lift the chest, broaden the collarbones. And then lower the left knee to the floor and come into half splits. Half Hanumanasana on the right side. Drawing the buttocks closer towards the left heel and maybe drawing your heart closer towards the right leg. Find your breath. Inhale, look forward, come back to a low lunge. Exhale, plank pose, Dandasana. Chaturanga to up dog. Lift the chest, drawing the shoulders down and back. Moving with a sense of fluidity. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Keeping the mouth closed as you keep the head relaxed. Inhale, left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through to a high lunge. Sweep the arms up nice and high. Finding a nice long spine on the inhale. Exhale, arrow lunge, extending those arms out in front of you, energizing that right leg. Draw your navel in. Exhale, wide-legged pyramid, slowly starting to straighten out that left leg as you plant the palms alongside the left foot. Now, if you can't reach your palms all the way down, that's perfectly fine. Just shift your right foot forward slightly. Inhale, look forward, come back to a low lunge, lift the chest. Exhale, step it back to plank pose. Chaturanga, bending the elbows, you're doing beautiful. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the chin, down dog. Pressing through all four corners of your hands. Connecting to your breath. Inhale, right leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through to a high lunge. Sweep the arms up. Elongating the spine as you sink nice and low into the right leg. Energizing that back leg. Exhale, arrow lunge. You're on the ball of the left foot, straightening out that left leg as you draw the biceps towards the ears. Find the breath. Find the connection. And then slowly swivel the hands down, framing off the right foot, and come into wide-legged pyramid. Finding a shape that suits you. So starting to walk that left foot forward, if you did so on the other side. Finding an accessible shape. And the idea here is really just to work deeper into the hips. Keep the breath flowing. Inhale, look forward, low lunge, lift the chest, broaden your collarbones. Exhale, step it back to plank pose, chaturanga to up dog. Press away from the floor with the hands. Exhale, child pose, beautiful. Draw your buttocks towards your heels and keep those nice breaths long. Relaxing the forehead to the mat and lowering the elbows and shins to the floor. And then cup your fingertips and start to walk your hands over to the left side, getting a nice side body stretch on the right side.
Noticing how that creates more space on the right side for the breath to flow. And then walk your hands back to center and then over to the other side, cupping the fingertips, breathing into the left side. Relax the jaw, relax the face. And then slowly walk your hands back to center and roll your spine all the way up to seated. Slide your legs over to the right and we'll meet in a comfortable cross-legged seat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist over to the left, placing the right hand on the outer left thigh. Finding length through your twist as you draw the navel in towards your spine. Placing the left hand on the earth behind you. Inhale, come back to center, extending both arms up. Exhale, other side. Breathe into your twist as you broaden the collarbones. Soften your gaze or even close your eyes if you're comfortable. Inhale, come back to center. And then you can place both of your palms on your knees, just staying as you are. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And let's just take a nice deep inhale to seal our practice. Inhale in through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you feel energized. And I hope to see you in the next video. Namaste.